Okay, so what do we got here? It's an 1861 Sharps and Hankins experimental rifle. That's pretty cool. It was most likely some weird prototype. Do you know how many they made? Somewhere between 700 and 750 of between five different models. They were probably different models they were running off and probably trying to sell them to the military. You'd normally call something like this a prototype, but experimental sounds so much better when you're trying to sell it to the military. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle's a gun collector, and he got me started in collecting guns. I found the rifle at a pawn shop, and I got a great deal on it. And looking at the name of the rifle, I knew it was something special. I like to sell my Sharps and Hankins rifle so I can get the money to buy more antique firearms. Right around that time period, there was a million and one experimental or prototypes and all those other things because there was like an explosion in gun technology. A lot of weird designs were coming out because all the other designs were patented. And there was government contracts going crazy to get guns. I mean, the Civil War just broke out. Uh, we basically didn't have anything near of the army that we needed to actually go to war. But I imagine a million guns were sold to the military during the Civil War, and probably close to that number in the South. By the 1830s, machining had become so good you could make better guns. And by the 1850s, all these weird experimental guns were coming out. Sharps rifles are known for their quality. And even the guns that didn't sell well are still considered collectible. It doesn't look like a rapid fire rifle when you literally, the way you fire this is, you know, have to do this, this, pull the old shell out, put another shell in, and fire it. But in 1861, that was amazing. Does it still fire? I believe it does. Everything looks good, the bore. There shouldn't be any problem firing it. It's just uh, finding the ammo for it. It probably takes yeah. a bizarro caliber. And the beautiful thing is it says sharps on it. Yes. And that's where the term sharpshooter came from. Did you yes, know that? Yes, I did. It used to be sharps shooter because sharps were so accurate. They had serious accuracy for a very long distance. Kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. <You're> pretty accurate. <laughs> right? But um, I dig it. I think they're really, really cool. There are some concerns here. It looks like the stock has been at least sanded down. It doesn't look like it's in the original shape. What do you want for it? Well, I was hoping to get $3,000. One of my problems with this is when you start getting guns that are, you know, you said there's only seven or 800 of them made, then there's five different models. It's a very thin market, and um, I, don't, I don't know the value of it, I, quite frankly. And um, I would like someone to take a look at it, if you don't mind. Not at all. Sharps, just the name, it's well known to this day. And it's because of the quality of manufacturing and the fact that these guns were very accurate. There's a large collector base for these guns out there. The barrel length, when they were going into production, they're gonna make it a standard length. It's gonna be 23 or 25 or what have you. This has got 23 and... Three quarters? Uh, more, it's it's in between, it's weird. Like five eighths. That would not be the standard number that they would land on, so that raises a red flag for me. There stands a chance that this could be one of the experimental rifles, but chances are it's been modified. What do you think it's worth? <sighs> it's a solid $1,500 to $2,000 gun. So, but it's most likely modified. It's a modified rifle. That's what I'm saying. Okay, thanks, man. Absolutely. When it comes to anything of this period being experimental, it could be extremely rare, and anything that's extremely rare could be worth a lot of money. But because of that, that brings out a lot of the fakers. I mean, so what will you realistically take for it? I would say 17.5. No, because that's what he said I could retail it for. It's been messed with. And if it hadn't been messed with, I would have paid you your three grand in a minute. I will give you a thousand bucks. That's what I can give. The lowest I could go would be one thousand five hundred. I mean, I'll go a thousand fifty, and I shouldn't even do that. But that's what I'll do. No, I, I can't go less than that. <sighs> have a nice day. Thank you. All right, have a good one. It's disappointing to get the offer. Uh, even the experts said it was worth more than that. I'm gonna take the gun home and do some more research on it.